Hey guys, what's up? This is Place the Movie Film, and I'm sure some of you are curious about my thoughts of the accent white generation of the Pokemon anime. Don't worry, I will be making a video fully explaining what I think of that shortly after at least 15 episodes have been dubbed into English. Today I am going to be talking about the pilot episode of that particular generation of the Pokemon anime which is Colors where dreams and adventures begin. So without further ado let's get started. So the episode basically begins with a mother of some girl wanting her fledgling to wake up that particular girl. Yeah that girl's name is Serena. Who exactly is Serena? I don't know and I couldn't tell by watching this episode alone since this episode does such a piss poor job at explaining who Serena is. Seriously Serena is supposed to be a major character so this episode really should have explained better exactly who Serena is. I will admit the fact that the Flatstein used pack on Serena to wake her up is funny but yeah that scene tried to introduce Serena but did such a piss poor job for it is pretty much fucking pointless because it has absolutely nothing to do with the rest of the episode but yeah there isn't anything else to say about that pointless scene the cut to us catch him who is on his way to the colors region with a plane and as soon as us arrives he proves it again how much of a fucking immature idiot he truly is as soon as he arrives he yells, Hello, Carlos. People around him look at him and rightfully so. I mean, who the fuck yells the name of a county or a city or a region or whatever when they arrive there? I have been to the United States and France, and when I arrived to the United States, I didn't yell, Hello, America. And when I arrived to France, I didn't yell, Hello, France. I mean, seriously, no one does that. Unless of course it's an immature idiot like us is. Am I surprised that he made a fool out of himself yet again? Nope, in fact it's just expected. But anyway, he is very fucking excited when he finally gets to walk around the colors region. And since he just wants to get to the first gym, immediately he goes straight to the fucking gym. Unfortunately for him, he is only authorized to enter that gym if he has at least 4 gym punches. And I find it very fucking funny when he gets electrified in that gym and falls down a trapdoor. I find it funny because I love seeing us catch him getting rejected. And seeing bad shit happen to us is so much fun. But anyway, after he gets to the bottom of the trapdoor, a guy by the name of Clement uses one of his gadgets to save Aes. And Clement, as long as his sister Bonnie, are very fucking surprised that Ash doesn't have any gym budget. But he explains that he just got there. So yeah, the characters that are introduced here are Clement and Bonnie. And I must say that this episode does much better job at explaining who those two are than it does at explaining who Serena is. And I applaud this episode for that. I will get into more details about what I think of those two characters in general when I review the Pokemon X and Y series as a whole. But I will briefly tell you why I like those two characters. Clemont is an awesome inventor and Bonnie is so fucking cute and I like how much she loves Pokemon. Speaking of that, I really enjoyed how fucking excited she got over Arceus Pikachu. Arceus Pikachu used his Thunderbolt, which as usual didn't harm anyone much. But after that comes a very fun scene. And it's of course a fucking Pokemon battle between us and Claremont. Ars uses Pikachu while Claremont uses Bunnelby. And wow, 
Claremont's blood movie truly is fucking awesome. I really love how much he uses ground type moves against us as Pikachu. Since Bumblebee evolves into a Pokemon that's part ground type, that does make sense. But yeah, that battle is very entertaining to watch. And it's possibly the best part about the episode. As much as I hate to admit it, Ash's Pikachu is pretty fucking awesome as well in the battle. It really is incredible how Ash's Pikachu manages to survive all those attacks. However, what happens during the middle of the battle is not awesome at all. In fact, it's a big thing that I fucking hate about the Pokemon anime. And that's the fact that Jesse, James and Meowth are up to no good as usual. Seriously, do I have to deal with those shitty villains again? Oh boy, the fact that Jesse, James and Meowth are back to the way they used to be is just painful to watch. Also, one thing about that that I don't understand is why does Ares have a problem with dealing with Jesse's Wobbuffet all of a sudden? He has dealt with that particular Wobbuffet many times before and never had a problem with it. So why the fuck is he having a problem with that Wobbuffet now? That is pretty stupid. Anyway, even though the appearance of Jesse James and Meowth in this episode is not awesome and is in fact the worst part about the episode, a froggy coming out of nowhere to save the fucking day is something that I consider to be awesome. Yeah, a fucking random froggy saving the day truly is awesome and you can't get any more better than that. Now that random froggy uses the move Frobbull. And that act move looks so fucking cool, which makes me wonder why the fuck isn't that an actual move? I mean, can you imagine how awesome it would be if Greyntia uh, could use that move in the games? I'm sure a lot of Pokemon fans would love to be able to do that. And surprisingly, that move has no effect on the Warp of it, since it isn't an actual move. Even then, S should have been able to deal with that Wobbuffet more easily since he has done it so many times in the past. Yeah, I felt like repeating that point because it is a legitimate flaw with the episode. Anyway, shortly after Jesse James and Meowth blast off yet again, the episode ends. What is my opinion on this episode? Well, I would say that this is a fucking awesome way to start a new generation of the Pokemon anime. My only two issues with the episode are the fact that it did just a pissful job explaining who Sirana is and also the appearance of Jesse James and Meowth. They are so fucking annoying. But really, everything else about this episode is fucking awesome and it gets me fucking hooked to see more. So for that I'm going to give this episode two thumbs up. Well guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching and have a great day.